pose is sitting on your shins. You can sit on a block as well, or even on your pillow or couch cushion at home. And if you want a little bit more and you want to stretch the tops of your feet or the bottoms of your feet, you can tuck the toes under and start like this. So facing the top of your mat, sitting with your thighs towards each other. Begin to close your eyes and tune inward. And to do that, first tune out your surroundings. You know it's really challenging to practice at home sometimes. So perhaps you first start to notice the sounds of, around you. You even look at the room around you. And then choosing to let all of the tasks go. Choosing to let the sounds around you become white noise. In order to go inward, let's take a nice deep inhale in through your nose. And then audible exhale out. Now continuing to stay with your breath. You might start to find a rhythm to your breathing in and out. Notice the sensation of your chest lifting, your belly pressing out, your ribs expanding. When you bring your awareness to that sensation, you might notice that your breath automatically starts to get slower and deeper. As you continue to follow your breath in and out, see if you can also scan your body without judgment. First, noticing where your skin is touching your clothes. Notice where your body's in contact with the mat below you. You might start to notice a tingling in your feet or legs. Observe the weight of your shoulders or you shifted forward. And then on this next cleansing breath, really releasing any tension and inviting healing to the parts of you that are feeling uncomfortable today or maybe even painful. So together, let's take a deep inhale in. And a big audible exhale out. Then moving up to your headspace, thinking about what are you thinking today? Also sinking into your heart space, noticing how you're feeling today. Are you able to distinguish the difference? Rosa Beth Moss Cantor says, if world problems feel too big to tackle, think small. Step by step, small wins build confidence and lead the way to change. So today, perhaps gratitude is something that's hard for you to dive into. So instead, I invite you to maybe consider the wins, the small wins. Your ability to take that next step, maybe just getting out of bed, showing up here to your mat, just doing the next thing and celebrating the little wins, knowing that those will lead to change and ultimately a really big difference. So in the forefront of your mind, choose a small win for you today. 
and acknowledge yourself for it. And then together, let's take another collective breath, a cleansing inhale in, and a bigger exhale out. May this practice today bring you comfort, clarity, peace, healing, and joy. May we really get into our physical body today, that, that most tangible layer, and celebrate every single step that we take, looking at them as small wins, leading to ultimate change. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up. On your exhale, bring the arms down. Big inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, bring your arms forward, come down into your child's pose. Maybe your toes have fallen asleep. You can pitter patter them. Know that this is your resting pose. You can come into it as often as you need. On your inhale, slowly lift yourself up into your tabletop. As you exhale, round into your cat. As you inhale, lower into your cow. And as you exhale, round back into your cat. Continue at this pace, breathing in slowly. Arching your spine, exhaling even slower, rounding your spine. Inhale, taking the gaze up. Exhale, taking the gaze in. Inhale, lifting the tailbone up. Exhale, tucking the tailbone under. Inhale, your heart draws forward. Exhale, hollow out your heart, open up the back. One more, inhale, lower the belly, let it hang. Exhale, draw the belly button up towards your spine, engaging your core. On your next inhale, come into your tabletop. And as you exhale, take your left arm and your left pinky down, draw your arm out in front of you, taking your temple to the ground. For one arm puppy stretch. So the left arm is out in front of you, inflection, thumbs up, pinky side down. Getting into your lats a little bit. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, press right back up and take your left arm straight up to the sky, breathing in, reaching up through your fingertips. And this time as you exhale, thread the needle. Now bring it underneath your left armpit. Take your right arm and and crawl it out in front of you. Breathing here. We'll stay here for a few breaths. If you want an extra challenge, press into your left shin and start to take the right leg up to the sky. And if you roll over, go ahead and giggle at yourself. Try not to take it so seriously. It is always startling if you do roll over though. If your leg went high to the sky, breathe in and exhale, pull it right back in. Draw the right hand back by your face, press into the mat and inhale your left arm up. Exhale, bring it down. Let's do a cat cow to neutralize, inhale. Exhale. Breathing in, take your right pinky and now draw the right hand out in front of you. Taking your right temple to the ground. A 
as you're stretching here, notice the sensation when you really press your hand to the pinky edge into the earth and add this little action of dragging backwards. You're not actually physically moving your arm, but the action is there. And notice the sensation that that brings as you draw your hip back. Inhale and exhale slowly lift up. As you inhale, your arm reaches high to the sky. Notice that awakening in your shoulders. Big breath in and exhale, thread the needle. Take your left arm out in front of you. Breathing here. And again, you can press into your left hand for support into your right shin, and maybe you lift the left leg up. Take one more breath, and exhale, pull your leg back in. Bring your left hand back by your face. Press into the earth and inhale your right arm up. Exhale, take your hand down. Staying here on your knees, walk your hands back and inhale, lift your hips up, drawing them forward and reach your hands high to the sky. Big breath in. And as you exhale, start to hinge at your hip crease and sweep your arms back behind you so you're hovering over your thighs and look to the right. Inhale, sweep your arms back up, draw the hips forward. As you exhale, slowly, mindfully draw your nose towards the floor, hover it there, but look to the left. Let's do a few of these, moving at your own pace and with your breath. Counter rotating your neck as you come down from side to side. Building heat in your core. Couple more. Last round. One on each side, big breath in. Inhale up, and exhale your arms down. Take your right leg and bring it out in front of you for a nice low lunge. If you'd like, you can add some cushion under your knee. I'm gonna. You're in the low lunge here. Inhale, sweep your arms up again. As you exhale, draw yourself forward and come back to that hover so the crown of your head is drawing forward and sweep your arms behind you. Inhale, bring your arms forward, flip your palms and then exhale, press back. Kind of like you're swimming. Inhale, exhale, sweep it back. Inhale, exhale back. Inhale, exhale back. Inhale, exhale back. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale your arms up, straighten your front leg and crawl your foot forward. Exhale your hands behind you and place your hands into your back pockets, imaginary back pockets. Squeeze the elbows in and roll the shoulder heads back. And avoid going into anything that's really deep here. We're not going to our edge. We're just creating a blueprint here. Front leg is straight. You're pointing through your big toe. Just lifting your heart. Drawing the hips forward. Engaging your core and feeling the heat in your left quad. Imagine there's a string pulling up through the crown of your head. 
One more breath. And then exhale, slowly release your arms. Bend the knee. Place your hands on the ground and step your right leg back. Inhaling, sweeping arms up. Exhale, come down into the hover. Nose towards, towards the ground. Inhale, rise back up. And exhale, your hands down. Hands to waist, take your left leg forward. Your right knee's on the ground. Wider stance if you need some more support. And then start to draw the torso forward. Like you're gonna come down, inhale your arms forward, and exhale, swim back. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Deep at the breath. One more. Exhale. Inhale up. And exhale your hands down. Straighten your front leg. Crawl the foot forward so your knee can come into extension. And hands creep down towards your bottom. Pinkies are touching, thumbs around your waist. Draw the elbows in. And you'll notice your heart is lifting up to the ceiling. Can you also lace your ribs together? Sometimes in order to access that, thinking about your pubic bone up towards your belly button can help. How is your breath? Bring to the forefront of your mind where your right knee is in its connection to the earth. Noticing the energy from your right knee down the shin to the top of the ankle through that big right toe, pressing and rooting down there. A couple more breaths. One more. Exhale. Ah, release your arms, lunge into your front knee, hands to the ground, and step the left leg back. This time, let's tuck the toes under and lift into your first down dog with a generous bend in the knees. Maybe you choose to go single leg, walking up and down. You can do both legs. Bending the knees, bear pose, back to down dog. Let's ensure you have a proper stance here that's going to be the most functional for you. So notice if your hands are shoulders width, see if you can get them there. Look at your feet, hips width. If you roll yourself forward into a high plank and your booty is still sticking up in the air, walk your hands forward a bit so that the shoulders are over the wrist and the heels are past the balls of your feet. From there, bend the knees. Send the hips up high and come into your down dog. You'll notice my knees are really bent. This is allowing me to really find spaciousness in my shoulders, lifting my sit bones high. In time, I start to straighten the legs as I warm up. Take a breath. And as you exhale, walk to the front of the mat, however you want to get there. Tiptoeing like you're on a tight rope, maybe alternating. When you get to the rag doll, keep the knees really bent so your belly's touching your thighs. A tendency I have and I see in a lot of our students is to keep the neck in extension. See if you can let the neck hang and actually look at your knees. Do what feels good here. Practice being aware of where your weight is in your feet. Coming forward to the toes, coming back on the heels, pressing through the outer edge and then pressing through the inner edge. And then on your next inhale, take a halfway lift. Hands come to your shins or to your blocks. 
As you exhale, fold back in half. As you inhale, take a halfway lift, bring your arms to a T. And then as you exhale, I want you to swim them forward and lower your booty as you bend your knees so you're sitting in your Utkatasana chair pose. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, hover over your thighs, sweep your arms back. As you inhale, start to straighten up, coming into an extended mountain pose. As you exhale, bend the knees, hover, sweep the arms back. So it should feel really similar to earlier. Let's add the counter rotation of your neck. Inhale, exhale, look to the right. Inhale up, exhale, look to the left. Inhale, really mindfully moving, exhale. Sometimes I do this a lot of times and I do it really quick with my breath to get lots of energy out. But today I really want us to move mindfully so that you're feeling every muscle right now working to lower you, to hover you. Feel every single one from your calves through your thighs. Last one. Inhale up, stretch it up, and exhale your arms to your sides. Let's do some shoulder rolls. Wiggle the knees your hips, your wrists, you can your all my cracks. Chin to chest, roll your head to side, to side. Notice your breath here, where you feel heat. And then come to your mountain pose. Find stillness for a moment. Can you consider getting through the opening of this sequence a win? And maybe getting through the sequence with your mind totally focused on your body. Maybe not, maybe you were somewhere else but at least your body was moving. What small win can you celebrate right now? On your next inhale, sweep the arms up. On your exhale, take a dive, hinging at your hip crease. Soft bend in the knees and then fold. On your inhale, take a halfway lift, hands to shins or blocks. Exhale, plant your hands and step your right leg back. Lower the right knee to the ground, you might use a blanket. Inhaling, sweep your arms forward and up for a nice low crescent lunge. As you exhale, hover yourself forward, and then bring your hands to the ground, lift, and step back into your plank. Here's our first chaturanga vinyasa. Option to go to down dog. Option to do full plank. I'm gonna go with to modify. Let's lower down chaturanga. Flip the toes and inhale for a baby cobra. Let's all stay low for the first round. As you exhale, roll the toes under, push away from the ground and into your down dog. You might pass through the tabletop. Take your big toes together on the inhale, right leg reaches high as the big toe turns inward. As you exhale, bring it in between your hands. Sometimes you have to actually grab your ankle and place it there. Bend the left knee, lowering it down, and inhale, sweep your arms forward and up. As you exhale, start to hover, and then place your hands on the ground. Lift your back leg and step it to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, breathing in, draw your crown forward. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, press through your feet, arms to a T stand, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands come down, mountain pose. Let's keep that pace, breathe in. Breathe out and dive. Breathe in half. Breathe out full. Plant your hands up your left leg back. Option to drop the knee or keep it lifted this time. Inhale, sweep your arms forward and up for a high crescent lunge. Or again, you're in a low. As you exhale, start to hover yourself forward and then frame your foot. Step your leg back into your plank. 
Again, modify to your knees or do a full one. Chaturanga. Inhale, maybe this time a high cobra, sending the tailbone towards your heels. Exhale, roll the toes and glide into your down dog. Big toes to touch. Inhale, left leg up, keeping the inner thigh spiraling up. As you exhale, knee comes to nose to bring it all the way through. Again, lower your knee or keep it lifted. High crescent lunge. As you exhale, start to hover yourself forward and then place your hands onto the ground. Pivot, or step to the top of your mat, please. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, take a dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step your right leg back. This time, let's take a wide stance. So step it more to the right side of your mat. Spin your heel down at a 45. We're gonna go a little slower here. Draw the hips forward so your left knee is stacked over the ankle. Take your left hand, bring it forward in front of you. Swim it back, so turn your thumb down and swim your hand back behind you and land it right there on your hip. Draw the left hip back, keep your thumb in your hip crease and now start to draw the right arm forward. We're hovering right over the left thigh. Right thumb is up. There's this long line of energy from your fingers to your right heel. I know you're feeling the burn. Stay with your breath. Staying this low, see if you can really get your left knee over your ankle. Take the left arm and now reach it forward. So both arms are reaching. Inhale, staying low in your lower half of the body. Lift and press through the front foot to come up for your first warrior one. Woo, feel that burn. Big breath in. As you exhale, start to hover yourself forward again. Sweep your arms back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, sweep it back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last time, inhale up, straighten your front leg and bring your arms down. So both legs are in extension, press through the big toe of your front foot. When you do that, feel your left calf turn on and really activate. Take your hands into your back pockets and squeeze the elbows in. Roll the shoulders up. As your heart's lifting, let's lace our ribs together again. Let's breathe and hold. How's your breath? In the forefront of your mind, bring your back leg into awareness. Wake it up. Really press through your right foot. And you feel your big toe, your little toes, the outer edge, the inner edge, the heel pressing all down. So you can follow that energy up through your calf, through your right quadricep. Take another breath, and then exhale, release. Uh, inhale, lunge back into your leg, arms up. Exhale, your arms down, frame, pivot, and step back to the back of your mat. Again, options to do down dog or go through a vinyasa, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, cobra, maybe you come into an up dog, wrist, elbow, shoulders lined up, thighs off the ground. Exhale, roll the toes under, and press up into your down dog. Bringing the toes together. Let's take a cleansing breath in, yes, inhale. Audible exhale. Take your left, sorry, your right leg, inhale high to the sky. And as you exhale, bring it to the outside of your pinky. Look at your back heel, spin it down at a 45. So we're back in our warrior one stance. Stay low here, knee stacked over the ankle. Take the right arm, reach it forward, 
and then swim the hand back, thumb down. Bring your thumb into your hip crease. Your hand wraps around and encourage the right hip back. When you feel ready, like your hand is supporting and securing your pelvis in place, take the left arm and reach it forward. Reach, middle finger to back heel, that whole left side. See and feel that line of energy. And you lunge forward a little bit more. Take the right arm, reach it forward. Big breath. One step at a time. Celebrating each movement as a win. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, press up to warrior one. As you exhale, hover, sweep the arms back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sweep back. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Inhale, up. Last time, exhale, hover. Inhale, sweep it up and press through your front leg, arms to your sides. So your head, your pelvis is facing forward like you have headlights looking at the street in front of you. Place your hands into your imaginary pockets, elbows in, shoulders roll back. Starting at the feet, press through that front big toe. I have a tendency to hyperextend my knee. I could easily just let my knee drop. So I have to really be intentional about Softening it and then firing up my quad so that it's working. You might need to do that too. Again, lace the ribs together. And you do that by drawing your lower ribs down to your hip bones, hip bones up to your ribs. So imagine shortening your torso as you open up your chest. And right now we're just looking forward, not up yet. Let's all bring our awareness to the back leg. Can you evenly distribute your weight onto your back foot? Press it into the earth so you feel your leg activate. Couple more breaths. One more, and exhale, soften, let go, lunge into your front knee, sweep the arms up, big inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, pivot, and step to the top of your mat. You'll notice a wide stance, tiptoe your right foot into the middle. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, pull back down. Inhale, press and lift up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, take a dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step your left leg back. Find your warrior one stance. Option for a wide stance. If you want to challenge yourself, maybe try to imagine your heels are on the same line, on the tightrope. Lunge into your front knee, and inhale, rise up for warrior one. Well, I haven't taken that stance in quite some time and it's much more challenging. Breathing in here. Not here as long. Take one more and exhale. Bring your hands right back down. Pivot and step back. Down dog, we're joining me in a vinyasa, Chaturanga Dandasana. You choose, go over our up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bring your big toes together. This time, inhale your left leg lifts. Exhale, bring it in between. Again, wide stance, or you might want to try that really narrow stance. Once you feel set, rise up, warrior one. You might notice your left hip is jutting forward. 
and you draw the left hip back and right hip forward. Think about your feet, press them into the ground and wake up your back leg just as much as your front leg. One more inhale. Exhale, hands come down, pivot and step to the top. Take a half lift, hold exhale, inhale rise, and exhale, hands to heart. Bring your arms to your sides and take a moment here. Take a moment to recover not by making any actual changes, but by simply observing. Have you been able to tune out your space around you, the tasks, the noises? Come back to your body. Come back to the sensation of your skin and your clothes, where you're connected with the mat below you, the tingling, the fire. Let's continue to stay in the body. Take a big breath in and exhale out. Go ahead and wiggle it out. Yogi Cha Cha, roll your shoulders, your wrists, your neck. And then we're going to open up to the side of our mat so you can just face the long side. I'm going to face you. And take your feet nice and wide. Point your big toes to the top corners of your mat. And go ahead and come into your first goddess squat. Take your hands to your thighs and First, wiggle around, move your hips side to side. See what's up here. Maybe you dip your right shoulder down and you look over to your left. This is one of my favorites. And then roll the other way. Really, anything that your body's calling you to do as it relates to this shape, please do it. And then slowly come back to center. See if you could stay seated and start to use your core, bringing your hands out in front of you into heart center. When we say core, it's not just our belly. We're using those deep pelvic floor muscles. We're using our legs. So get nice and low. Build heat. So 90 seconds is what research shows to really, really rebuild your muscles but really your bones, especially as we age. So let's see if we can hold this. And can you sit in the heat? Take your awareness towards the heat. Instead of avoiding it, get into it a little bit more. And you call it a win that you're still here. Maybe some grace if needed. If you need some grace and you need to step out of it for a second, do it, but then come right back in. Good. Couple more, you got this. Go inward right now. Instead of looking outward, go inward. Look to your breath. Bring your awareness to your feet on the earth. Feel the energy through your legs. Feel the whole body transforming and changing. One more. Oh, and press through your legs. Ooh, stretch out, reach your arms up. My muscles go cold when I've held it for that long. Stretch out into star pose. Reaching from middle finger to middle finger, big toe to big toe. Crown of the head, tailbone, all five directions. Big breath and exhale, release. Turn the big toes towards the left so that you're finding your warrior one again. And you choose a narrow stance 
or a wide stance. So we're trying to get the back foot more into 45 so we can draw the hips towards the top side of your mat again, or back side, depending on where you are. So inhale, sweep your arms up, and lengthen forward again to that hover. From here, take your arms behind you, interlace your fingers, and reach the knuckles back for Humble Warrior. Now, instead of normal Humble Warrior, we come all the way down. I actually want us to stay in the hover to continue to build heat in our core. So this is where we're at. Take some breaths here. Modifications would be to come out of it, not come in so deep, to shorten the stance, to widen the stance. Take another breath, sink in a little deeper, and exhale slowly, come up, press through your front leg, release your hands. Take your hands behind you and put them back into your back pockets. Elbows in, roll the shoulders back. So instead of looking forward, maybe this time you open up your heart a little bit more and you look up towards the ceiling. Remember the action of drawing the ribs in so that your core is engaged. Both legs are strong, they're active. They're supporting you. Stay here. Maybe you might want to slide right arm down your leg. Maybe the left arm goes up. One more. And exhale, come forward. Lunge into your front knee and then pivot back towards the front of your mat. Let's go ahead and tiptoe, doop, 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 back in and wiggle it out. Take a breath. Of course, grab a sip of water whenever. And then tiptoe it out or jump your feet up. And now let's pivot over to the other side. So we're just facing the other side of your mat. Find warrior one on the other side. Heel to heel alignment or a train track stance. Inhale, sweep your arms up and lean forward. Swim your hands back behind you. Interlace your fingers a different way. It should feel awkward and different. Reach the knuckles up and stay here. Notice if you're overarching in your lower back and letting your belly hang. Can you draw it all in? Send your tailbone towards the back of your left heel. Draw the right booty under. And at the same time as you do that, spiral the left thigh in. Right booty under, left thigh in. Notice that sensation. Sometimes you need contrast, and so maybe you do the opposite. When you do that, you'll notice your booty goes to the right. Right booty under, left thigh in. All right, inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, up to where you're one and straighten your front leg. Arms come behind you, place them down your lower back. Elbows in, shoulders back. Gaze forward, or if you want more, gaze up. Protect your cervical spine so the neck is not just eh, cocking back, but you're drawing the chin in, pulling through the crown, and looking up. Strengthening your hamstrings, your quads. Breathe. Maybe you slide your left arm down your leg, and you use the right arm to lift up so you're getting taller. How's your breath? One more. And exhale, come up. Whew, and pivot yourself forward. Tiptoe in like we did last time, or maybe you hop in. And then shake it out. All right, so we are gonna take it to the floor now to a peak 
pose, okay? So let's, let's get a little more fluid. So come back to the top of the mat. Inhale, sweep your arms up. And exhale, take a dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, go through a vinyasa. I'm going to modify mine. And then back into your child's pose. Breathing here. And then slowly come up. And we're back into that position that we started in. So now, can you celebrate the win of, you conquered the opening of the class, the warm up, as well as the standing series. So we're almost through it, right? I'm taking my blanket to create some cushion for my knees. You can join me as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel off some layers and we're gonna lead to Ustrasana Camel Pose. And we're gonna start with one legged and we're gonna put that all kind of together. If you have blocks, you can bring those near you to put, use for support. If you don't have a blanket at home, you could always fold your mat in half or even twice to put your knees on it, okay? So you've got lots of options. When you're ready, come up onto your shins. And we'll start with one leg forward again, like we did earlier. So bring your left leg forward. And then walk your foot more forward. So that when you straighten your leg, your hips, shoulders, hips, and knees are still lined up. Okay? Your block would, might be right on the outside of your right ankle or even on your thigh. And you'll see why. So let's start off with our foundation here. Remember, you're pressing through your front foot and you're pressing through your knee, shin, and top of your foot on the back leg. So you're, you have a nice, strong foundation here. Legs are active. Put your hands back into your back pockets and squeeze the elbows in and roll the shoulders up. So you might stay here today. This is what we did earlier. We've been here before. You're more, even more warmed up, and it might be enough. If you want a little bit more, you'll take your right hand, and you might place it on that block below you. So I'm going to take you through some layers that you can peel off. If you would like to skip the block and you feel like you can go even deeper, you'll crawl your hand down your thigh and back towards your foot. I tuck my toes under so that my heel is higher, and that way I can place my hand there. Whatever position you've chosen, here, block, or hand on hip, you can take the left arm up to the sky. You got it. Breathe. And again, gaze could actually be forward, especially if you have any neck issues or gaze could be up. I love options, options for everybody. How is your breath? You stay in your body. Go towards the heat. That's where the change is happening in the heat, right? Breathe. One more. Exhale, hand down. We come out the way we came in. Slide your hand forward, hand to hip and then bend into your front knee. Whew. Slowly take your leg back. Ah, and come into child's pose, or I'm gonna come forward and stretch out like this into a modified plank to give my right thigh a break. Hmm. Inhale, and exhale. Walk it back up, let's do the other leg. Take your right leg, bring it forward. Set up your block if you use it on the other side. Again, you're crawling your foot forward as far as you can in order to keep hips right over the knees. Uh, or left knee only. Wider stance if you need more support. Okay, so I'm gonna tuck my back toes under since I know I need it. Hands to your lower back, elbows in, shoulders up. Remember, each side is different. So on one side, you might go deeper or you might pull back a little bit, depending on your injuries, on your activities. So choose, maybe hand to block, maybe down the thigh, maybe towards your back foot, 
And then everybody, no matter where you are, challenge yourself to lift the right arm up. Okay, so we're here up. We're going to be here for five to seven breaths. All right, one more breath in. And exhale, come out the way you came in. Bring it forward and bring your leg back. Find your neutral, you can come to child's pose. You can sit up. You could do a vinyasa, down dog, whatever feels good to you. And then slowly roll up. All right, this is our final pose. So I like to do camel pose against the wall because it keeps me accountable to keeping my hips forward. So you might join me there, but it's not necessary. Again, you can have blocks so that you have some options. Bring yourself, if you are using the wall, your hips all the way up against the wall. For me, I tuck my toes under again for more stability, but you can have the tops of your feet on the floor. And even if you're not against a wall, that's okay too. Just remember to try to keep your hips over the knees. Let's all take our hands and place them into our back pockets like we've been doing this whole time. Before doing anything else, bring your awareness to where your knees are touching the mat. Those are your feet right now, so really press through that foundation. Then, draw your energy up through your legs, spin the inner thighs in, at the same time as drawing the tailbone under. Lace the ribs as you open the chest and kiss the shoulders. Keep your gaze forward or pull through the back of the head as you gaze up. So you're already in a deep starting point for your camel. You might stay here, or you might start to slide your hands down onto your blocks. You might even go down to your heels. Now you'll notice your hips might go back. So I have to press my hips back up to the wall. That way I know I'm keeping the integrity of the posture. Remember, it's not about what you look like. Are you able to breathe in whatever pose you've chosen, any variation you've chosen? And are you keeping your hips over your knees? Breathe. One more. And then exhale, look forward, slowly come up. Whew, and sit on down. That pose is super awakening. It's like having a cup of coffee. Ah, we made it. But let yourself just sit in that for a moment. Let your body rebound. Notice the energy shift. And maybe you call it a win that you were able to let go of the ego and choose a variation that was most accessible for you versus what you think you should do. And when you're ready, let's turn around, come onto your mat, or back to the center of your mat. Move props away and lower on down. We made it. Oh, lower down onto your backs. You're in constructive rest, which means feet are on the ground and your knees are bent. We'll start with what they call a broken bridge or fallen bridge. Feet wide and let your knees cave in. This is really good for the lower back. It creates space for your sacroiliac joint. We're officially in cool down mode. 
sometimes for me this is challenging especially in a morning practice this is where you have the temptation to check out thinking all right we do what we have to do now we can move forward we've got things to do places to go people to see the challenge is can you stay here This is just as important, if not more important, than what we just did. Finding the stillness. Pulling down, regulating our nervous system. Then, windshield wipe your knees side to side. Take both knees to the right. You might take your gaze to the left. On your next breath in, go back to center. And as you breathe out, go the other way. And your chin can go the other way too. your next breath in, bring your knees back to center. Tiptoe them in towards each other, but the big toes are actually kissing. Take your right leg and bring it up to the sky. And then cross your right leg over so that your knees are stacked right over each other. And then bring your knees in towards your belly button. And you'll see that your right foot is over to the left and the left foot's over to the right. You might be able to grab onto your feet for a reclined cow face pose. So as you grab your feet, hug the knees in, and you should feel a sensation in your deep right glute area. And there's a couple of ways. You can keep your toes pointed and draw the legs in, or you might like dorsiflexing your feet and pulling your knees away from you as you reach your feet up towards the ceiling so that the shins kind of line up in one line. You'll feel the sensation in both variations. Or can you soften? Just checked in with my shoulders. They were doing work that they didn't need to do. Soften there. Soften in your jaw. Okay, 
inhale. As you exhale, release. Keep your knees overlapped and let's go for a deeper twist. Drop the foot back to the ground and send both knees over to the left. For a deeper twist. You do not need to anchor the right shoulder down. If it wants to hover, let it hover. That's okay. Take it back to center and exhale, release. Bring your foot back to the ground. Before we switch sides, first notice the difference. Can you feel the unevenness? Then reset, big toes together. Take your left leg, point your big toes up. Cross the left knee over. Use your core to bring both knees into the chest. And then take your hands and reach for the foot that's closest to you. So it'll be opposite feet. And again, you can pull the knees in, pointing the toes, or flex the foot and bring your legs away from you, shins up towards the ceiling. You choose. Check back in with your shoulders, your face. See if you can listen to the sound of your breath. One more breath in. Exhale, release your hands. Place your right foot back on the ground and let the knees go to the right for a twist as you look to the left. If ever there's any funkiness in your lower back, please ease out of it. And really in any part of the body, shoulders, knees, all your really vulnerable joints. Honor the space, avoiding pushing anything, forcing. Next breath in, take it back to center. Exhale, release your leg to the ground. And again, let the body rebound. And take a moment here before doing anything else 
to consider what your body needs for your final position. If there's anything else that you need to do, maybe it's legs up, maybe happy baby, maybe knees to chest. And you've really tuned in, then take action on what you want to do. My body's telling me to just go straight into Shavasana. Let the legs fall. Whenever you're ready, you can meet me here. Legs sprawled out. Palms faced up. If this is not comfortable, choose a position that is. You might go back to constructive rest, feet to the ground. Maybe you have a bolster to put your legs up on. If you have a blanket, you could put it under your head or over your hips. Scan your body one more time. Let's all start with our toes. Follow and bring your awareness to the tops of your feet, the bottoms of your feet, your ankles all around, the front of your shin, the back of your calves, the back of the knee around to the front of the knee, the tops of your thighs, around to the backs of your thighs, up to the glutes, and around towards the hips, up to the belly, and wrap around to the lower back, up to the middle back, your thoracic spine, and around your ribs, up to the chest, wrap it around to the shoulder blades, up to the shoulder heads, down your upper arms, front and back, inner and outer elbows, down the forearms, front, back and around to your wrists, palms to the back of the hands, to the fingers and the fingertips, right back up to your collarbones, your throat, the sides of your neck, the back of the neck, Back of your head, around the sides, to the crown, back to the forehead, down the out, outer rim of your face, to your chin, to your lips, to your eyes, your cheeks, right there to your nose. Breathe in. And big exhale out. Give yourself a few minutes of stillness.
Start to bring awareness to your physical body again, where it's at. Bring awareness to your breath. Bring your awareness to the sounds that you hear at your home. See if you could stay inward just for one more minute as you bring your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. And roll to a fetal position. Taking one moment to acknowledge yourself for showing up today, for taking that step to be here. And then slowly press yourself up. Finishing in a comfortable seat, easy pose. Hands to your heart center. Maybe continue to celebrate the small wins. When the world feels way too big for us and our problems feel way too big. Let's just take the next step. Thank you so much for practicing with me today, for showing up, for being here, for being a part of our community. The student and the teacher in me honors the student and teacher in every single one of you. Namaste. Thank you.